talking MPC software version 1.6 and one huge upgrade. Uh, I don't think there's been this significant of an upgrade since the click to add and remove slice points is the event list editor. Now, if you want to really get surgical, being that we are musical programmers, to be able to throw each sound in 960 different nooks and crannies here, you can look at this, uh, this diagram I made here as uh, one musical bar. And each of these are quarter notes in a bar. And between those, you have 1 to 96 places that you could throw your note. So the MPC's max PP QN pulses per quarter note is 960. I think it defaults at 96. So you're going to want to go into your settings, uh, your preferences, and turn it to 960 PP QN. So to get into the list editor, you'll see a new icon right here in the software. And uh, you'll see show list. And this is the list editor right here. I got a, this is the track with the snare drum on it. It's a one bar track and you could see the snare hitting uh, twice and you, it's indicated by this little visual representation which is really nice of a little musical note there in orange. Now you can also access the list editor from your hardware, your MPC studio, your MPC renaissance all right, you just go just go to a step sequence. You hit the step sequence button twice. Double click it, and it'll bring you into the list editor. Now you can do a lot of stuff in the list editor. Let me click on one of these notes. What we're mostly going to be focusing on here is the time, where you could throw it anywhere from zero to nine sixty. All right. Now also in the list editor, you have your mods. You could do basically. You know, all the usual suspects, like you would see in your automation, you could have tuning change hit right there, uh, filter cutoff, filter resonance, filter envelope, pan level, attack decay, or you could even uh, apply effect sense to hit just on that one event and the sample layer, which is probably going to be real interesting. But right now, we're just going to focus on the timing of it. All right, so what we'll do is we're going to go in here to this track with the snare on it, and we're going to make that snare kind of a lazy snare and have it hidden, uh, not so robotic. So I'm going to go into the very first one here. First time I'll do it from the software, so I'm going to click into it. And, okay, right now it's hitting on zero, so I'm going to put it up to like 23 and do it. And let's see it. Yeah, you can hear it. It's coming a little bit later. Uh, so, okay, that's nice. I want to make it a little more extreme. So let me put it up to 34. Yep, it's hitting a little bit late. I like that sound. All right, so if I wanted to do that from the uh, controller, your Renaissance or your studio, once again, double click on a step sequencer. And when you're using your, your locates, you would hit F6 here and that'll take you through the different events. So, okay, that's the second snare, I can hear it. And now this is what's, what's really cool, especially doing it from the hardware. You hit this nudge button, which is F4, all right? And now I could play it, and in real time here, I could adjust the end, uh, the, uh, the position here. You see, you see it moving right here. It's at 19 right now, out of, nine, out of 960. So now it's 56, and you hear it, okay, it's lagging a little bit, that second snare. So they both got a little bit of a little lip going to them. So I'm just going to adjust that in real time now until I'm happy with it. And uh, yeah, 45, I'm happy with that. Happy with it, definitely. So now my snares are starting to sound really good. You know, I could go into my kick drums and do the same thing, have them hitting a little bit different so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go to the track that is my kick drum track three and once again get into the list editor uh, this one I'll do from the software again so it's basically boom 
and two more booms here as the second part of the bar. Kept the small, just one musical bar for the pattern, so it's easy to pick up on what's actually happening here with the list editor. So, all right, I'm gonna actually go into the second kick and make it come in at 40 something. Mm, nah, it doesn't sound too good, so I'm gonna undo that. But uh, yeah, I'll just do it a couple, couple pulses. Okay, so as you can see, you know, I've made the kick, give it a little bit of a feel to it, and uh, it's really nice, especially while you're playing your sequencer and doing it off your hardware controller. I think that uh, this list editor is gonna make a lot of people really happy because I know a lot of people really rely on uh, using uh, uh, an event list. Uh, especially you know different machines people have actually went into the pulses per quarter note and seen like where they fall and everything like that and they can use that knowledge and apply that to this sequencer now uh, also in the new upgrade we have uh, a new timing correction option which is length all right so this is something new here where you could actually uh, quantize the the end of your sample so not just the beginning where it lands will be quantized but the actual end where where it would fall on your grid on your piano roll uh, and such will will be quantized which is really nice I mean so you see these right here let me I'll give you a for instance and I'll re-quantize the length of that one so yeah I'm gonna do the end and let's uh, do the selected note and you know you could quantize it to whatever time division you want there so let's see if it does anything okay so let's see it, it cut off the note there a little bit so that's uh, it's a really interesting feature it also has a nice uh, legato feature if I go legato it's going to select everything and Basically, it's gonna gonna make all your notes sustain uh, until the next note. Very nice new features of OS 1.6. I'm sure you guys are gonna love these new updates.